Welcome to the Welch Allen Spot Vision Screener. Our award-winning Spot Vision Screener assists educators, healthcare professionals, and charitable organizations to confidently assess eyesight for all ages. Spot is powered by patent-pending technology that quickly detects the indication of the following vision issues. Myopia, nearsightedness, hyperopia, farsightedness, astigmatism, blurred vision, anisometropia, unequal refractive power, strabismus, eye misalignment, anisocoria, unequal pupil size. In just seconds, SPOT provides a comprehensive, reliable analysis that enables informed decision-making about the need for care with an eye care specialist. This quick start video demonstrates the basic operation of your SPOT vision screener. For complete details on full operation, proper care, troubleshooting, warnings, technical data, and warranty information, please refer to the instruction manual shipped with your device or visit our website. SPOT is a handheld portable device designed to help users quickly and easily detect vision issues in patients aged six months through adult and patients with limited mobility or other limitations. SPOT captures binocular screenings from a comfortable and non-invasive three-foot distance. The modern touchscreen display allows for one-touch activation, simple management of patient data entry, and easy configuration for both vision screening and auto-refraction applications. SPOT goes where you go, whether used in the office or conveniently transported in an optional carry case to schools, events, or mission trips. Instant results provide refractions, monocular or binocular, along with horizontal and vertical eye alignment measurements, pupil size, and pupillary distance. SPOT can also be configured in plus or minus cylinder conventions. Best of all, SPOT is so easy to use and easy to implement into your vision assessment program. Let's get started. Before you begin your screening process, plan ahead and make sure SPOT is fully charged. To charge SPOT, simply connect the provided AC cord set and power supply charger together. Then gently lift the back of the vision screener to view the available connections. Locate the DC power connector on the vision screener and connect the power supply charger. Plug the AC power cord into an available AC wall outlet to charge the device. A flashing green LED light means charging is underway. You'll know SPOT is fully charged when the green LED lights remain steady. To turn the vision screener on, press and release the power button. The startup process takes approximately 30 seconds. Once powered on, you will see the main menu. To turn the device off, press and hold the power button for two seconds. A confirmation screen will appear to confirm shutdown. SPOT is suitable for continuous operation. It can be used in just about any indoor environment, medical and healthcare offices, schools, churches, community centers, and more. For optimal screening results, use SPOT in an environment with low level subdued lighting. Close the blinds or drapes. Turn off any sources of incandescent light. While fluorescent light is acceptable, it can affect subjects' pupil size and can decrease the chances of a successful screening. You will want to set up your spot vision screening at a distance of approximately three feet. That's just a little more than the length of three standard sheets of paper. Before you start a screening session, you will need to power on your spot vision screener. The main menu or home screen will appear. If the vision screener is connected to a network, the network name and IP address will be visible in the upper left corner in the black bar. You'll notice three icons on the bottom of the screen. Q. Use this to view, select, or search for cute subjects from a pre-entered list to begin the screening process. History. Use this to view already screened subjects and their completed records. Tools. A variety of options to customize the vision screener. 
See the instruction manual for complete details on these options. To begin the data entry and screening process, select the Start button. This will allow you to enter subject information, such as ID, first and last name, gender, and date of birth or age. The subject's age or age range is required. To begin instant screening with no personal subject data, select the age range of the subject from the home screen. An option to enter subject data at the conclusion of each subject screened is available. Be sure to confirm all data is correct on the subject information screen. You can modify information by touching the field you wish to change. Now you're ready to start the vision screening. Select Go to begin the screening process. Again, remember to position spot approximately three feet from the subject. Note, it is okay for smaller children to be screened while they sit on a parent or caregiver's lap. And there is no reason to move subjects confined to a wheelchair or other limitations. To start screening your subject, stand with one foot ahead of the other and slowly rotate the device upward. Clearly locate both of the subject's eyes on the screen while positioning the device on plane with the patient's eyes. To locate the proper distance, slightly lean forward or backward to initiate the distance finder on the device. A blue screen indicates you are too close or too far from the subject. A gray screen indicates you are in the proper capture range. When the screening capture image appears, indicating the capture process is underway, Hold the spot device steady until the screen change indicating the results appears. The capture is less than one second. Upon completion of the capture, SPOT provides a comprehensive, reliable analysis that enables informed decision-making about the need for care with a vision specialist. If you are unable to capture the subject's pupils with a successful screening, the measurement will be stopped. At this point, you can retry the binocular screening. Or, if you prefer, you can flag the record, try monocular mode, or return to the home screen. A typical reason for an unsuccessful screening is that the subject's pupils are too small. When this occurs, the device will notify you on screen to adjust the lighting in the room. Further dimming or darkening the room will promote larger pupil size. Monocular mode should be used when binocular screening does not capture the subject's pupils. In monocular mode, you will be given the option to choose which eye to screen. Touch the side of the screen that corresponds with the eye you would like to screen. OD for the subject's right eye, OS for the subject's left eye. When the initial monocular scan is complete, you can repeat the process with the other eye by choosing Monocular from the Results menu. The results screen will appear at the end of the successful screening process. In-range results will indicate screening complete. Results that are out of range are indicated with red highlights, displaying the potential risk conditions. Results that are out of range display Complete Eye Exam Recommended and should be referred for further analysis by an eye care professional. SPOT provides configurable options to present results that meet your organizational needs. This configuration can be obtained by selecting the Tools menu, followed by selecting the Results menu. Options include defaulting to a summary screen or the detailed results screen, hiding recommendations or measurements, raw or rounded data, and cylinder convention options. A detailed report may be printed on a paper printer in 8.5 by 11 format for record keeping and attaching to caregiver referrals. A label printer may also be used for simplified results. For more information on the Welch Allen Spot Vision Screener, consult the instruction manual included with your device. Thank you.